you are about as funny as my right foot, Reese. How Reese. funny is your right foot? Not as funny as your face, Reese. <laughs> Ouch! Have I just got on that last nerve of yours, my friend? No, that happened a long time ago. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> four days ago. <laughs> Around the world in four days with Reese. And there's some curry. <laughs> Serving <laughs> curry from a jar. <laughs> Not the whole thing, actually, <laughs> sweetheart. Ooh, At least yeah. I didn't serve dry pork. <gasps> Let's move on to yeah. this, shall we? Uh, no, I'm not now. moving on. No, if you want to have this out, let's have it out. Last night. Uh, have you got a problem with me, Reese? No. No. <laughs> what, so what why, why are you... I'm not, you are. No. You <laughs> like, you've been blanking me all week. You never make eye contact and your body language is appalling. Have you had enough, Holly? Please. Tina, I, I have to say, this is Steve's evening. You're being quite rude by bringing these things up at the table. Oh. Be courteous to your host. That was really, really lovely, Steve. Thank you so much. I hope we just didn't ruin your evening. No, no. Excellent. I can assure you no one has. Yeah. The most perfect piece of pork she's ever had, and that's why she's left it. Was really, really below the belt. <laughs> well, <laughs> that is ever so slightly <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Did you bake the bread yourself? I didn't make the bread. Okay. I bought the bread. Okay. Is that why you've had time to bling up the table? Because you've kept your food very plain and simple and bought your bread. The funny thing is, when you say plain and simple, if you knew what went into the sauce of making that... Yeah, but we made our own and bread then, yeah, of course and you did. sauce. Of course. But you didn't make your own pastry. pastry. Are you making your own pastry or anything to go with we're the rest not, of your we're food? We're not having pastry. No, so you bought the bread, yeah? Absolutely. That's fine, it's Absolutely. very nice bread. Absolutely. Very nice no, bread. We, we, we think so, we think it's yeah, nice. Yeah, it's lovely bread. I was getting my own back. It's only what she did to me. And it was just a bit of fun. She was a little bit bitchy there, and there was no need for that, to be honest. I, I think... The bread mm. that you made at your house, I couldn't eat it, to be honest. Yeah, but we put the effort in. We didn't just buy it, we tried. But we've put but a lot of effort into doing... I can tell. I know, cos it takes a lot of effort to toast bruschetta and pop some prawns on, we know. But it's very tasty, very tasty. Well, it's so toast. classy you do this. toast is lovely. Just... You've Good done work. it very classily. The lime was a lovely touch. What did, how did you make the sauce? Uh, there's actually sweet ch a sweet chilli sauce in there. Okay. So did you buy the sweet chilli sauce? Uh, yeah, we bought the chilli sauce. Okay. Were the prawns cooked from raw? No, they were shop bought, but they were do trimmed and yeah, prepared by very neat together. and beautiful. A marinade. Yeah. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Please say something, anyone. Well, this is a quiet we've been all week. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you, the important thing is to get past what they are. So if you assume that it's not something that's crawling around in your garden, it's been carefully cultivated. <laughs> mm, sorry. Talking of cultivated... Charles, when you go to a dinner party and you yeah. don't know the people... Yeah. ..and somebody starts burping yeah. rather a lot next to you... Yeah. ..would you feel a little uncomfortable? Yeah. I think it was really horrible. It's like farting. Thank you. Or pooing. Or weeing at the table. It's Thank the same you. thing. Absolutely. I think burping's a little bit different to farting at the dinner table. No, it's not. It still stinks. There's only one way to settle this. Well, I have here my book on modern manners. Burping, it may amuse you and young children, but most people will find it offensive <laughs> and unattractive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Caroline does have a habit of um, slightly talking down to me. Um, I think she thinks I'm one of her pupils, but she does need to remember um, that we're not at school um, and we are at her dinner party. So, if I'm honest, um, you are lovely, but I find you a little bit patronising, um, but in a lovely way, quite pleasant with how you do it, so it's a skill you've got. Oh, I, I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. Somebody say something. Anybody? No? We have quite an unconventional relationship okay. in that we don't actually live together. So Richard's got his own place. So you miss each other like the heart goes fonder? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> now and again, of course. I couldn't live like that. Well, because we're married. <laughs> Till death us to part. Yeah. For richer, for poorer. In oh, sickness and in oh, health. Oh, right, love. 
Hasta luego, mañana, mañana. Banana, banana. Write your own vows then, did you, Chris? One day, if we do decide to tie that knot, we'll have, obviously have to place. review things, but at the moment... So is it an if or is it a when? <laughs> I think it's a... I think it depends on how well we do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying a hat yet. No, You're not buying a, not. a black hat? No. Maybe. <laughs> My main bugbear about Richard is that he thinks he's always right. I do apologise when I'm wrong, but it's not very often, <laughs> to be honest. Well, By not, not very, very often, often, do you mean, like, once not... a year, not very often, or just never? About probably 98% of the time. <laughs> when I am wrong, I will apologise. Is that somebody else? <laughs> Ooh, this is a bit awkward now. <laughs> In the kitchen, the pressure is on. So, can you put a timer on, maybe? I've already put the timer on. Leave it's it on, on, like, nothing. That is on for this and this. Do you just want to get on with it? Yes, I am. You have your little paddy, there. I like to do things in my time, how I do them. Time to play tap, I reckon. Who's... Well, it doesn't really matter, cos these are all the same, doesn't it? It's a good idea doing steak, then. Yeah, just get on with it. Tonight's main is filet mignon avec potato dauphinoise with a side of passive aggression and a jus. Stress in the kitchen? Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you work all right together in the kitchen? No. OK. <laughs> <laughs> If we were married, we'd be having a divorce. <laughs> were you still 98% right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Deb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. You've done it now, Dickie. I'm in the bad books. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shy. <Yeah. laughs> what did you do? Just being myself. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Just... Oh, one to ten. <laughs> Twelve, baby. Ooh, ooh. Just... <laughs> Holy shamole. It was that 98% right all the time. Yeah. It was like, maybe you should tone it down to just swallow your pride a little bit. Don't sure. apologise. Yeah, definitely do that. This is not one of her fingers, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be his heart. <laughs> <laughs> Stone cold. <laughs> oh, the compassion. The dinner sat there and got cold because she was out the room. Yeah, I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know it's stressful it's and it's been a long day. It was all getting a little bit too much. I love you. OK. That's lovely. Yeah, lo uh, it's nice, yeah. yeah. You OK? Sorry, lovely. guys. Don't apologise! Oh, my God! Don't apologise! Oh, God, you oh, God, I didn't realise you not eaten. Oh, 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 I was disappointed in you, David. Yesterday, I seen that you you, you down you down dressed. I thought maybe it's just it's just a one off, you know. He sees how we dress. I think he's going to make a real effort. Exact opposite reaction. Exact <laughs> opposite. <laughs> I saw how you guys dressed. I said I can't match that, so I'm not even going to. Oh, thank you very much. No, well, I expected more. I expected more. When the subject of how David was dressed came up, I felt a bit awkward. To me. Uh, being a man isn't about looking good. You know, when someone sits there and starts criticizing my clothes, man, that's something my little sisters do. With the club I used to, with people who wanted to go into the club, I would sort of, you know, judge them a little bit on how they dressed, you know. Mm -hmm. if, they, if they didn't dress well, they weren't going to spend a lot of money in the club, so we don't want to let a certain, certain clientele in. Oh, you're so cool. I probably wouldn't go to your club, you're, bro. You're, 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 <laughs> you'd be bad. Ultimately, your guest was invited without a dress code and probably in a competition. You don't challenge your guests or make them feel uncomfortable. You're talking historically, dressed and had. Yes. What's what's the story? What do you mean? You With talked about your, your club. With the club in the middle of saying when the club just now. Not enough clientele. Touche! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, conversation was great over the main course. It was yeah. getting a lot more heated and interesting and a little bit of yeah. insults getting lobbed back and forth. That's nice. Glad you're having fun. <laughs> Thank you.